<sighs> and let's talk about the things. Being a black girl that is an introvert, a black woman that is an introvert. Society makes this seem makes it hard for black girl, black girl, black woman introverts to exist. Society makes it hard for black women or girl introverts to exist. I am a very awkward um black shy introvert and i've always resonated with Issa ray i feel like she's a great example of being a awkward black girl i don't know if she's an introvert but i could relate to her so much it's like you're an introvert speaking on my personal experience like you want to fit in but it's just too much for you and then when you try it gets to be awkward and it oh my it's like an exercise when you do do it i remember being um labeled as weird because i don't talk as much um but i'm an introvert that i don't like small talk any conversation i have with you is an exercise for me and if it's not intentional or we are not talking about anything I don't want to have that conversation with you so please make it interesting and I also when I say um being called weird am I being weird or am I just minding my business and other labels that I would get is you're so bougie you're stuck up because I'm the person that will definitely go in a corner somewhere be by myself and won't speak unless spoken to because once again I, I am learning how to start a conversation with people but it can be hard at times and an example of the weird one so when i was in high school i was always very shy quiet kept to myself got good grades you know stay out of the drama because i don't want to be in it and i haven't always been a shy quiet introvert i had a traumatic experience that caused me to be more shy introvert very quiet and I think I'll talk about this in another video on my channel. When I was in high school, it was like, and I live in Wisconsin, it's predominantly white. I went to a predominantly white um, high school, but there are black people in Wisconsin. And I was in a science class. I wanna say I was in 12th or 10th grade, one of the two. It was a new black girl that had just came into our class. And it was one, it was, so two black boys i want to say one black girl well two black girls so it was only four of us that were in this class and i was the quiet one the new girl that had came in she just transferred to our school and she was introducing her to all you know it's only four black but here's this black one he's cool here's this black one he's cool and then she got to me and she was like she's weird she doesn't talk much um she's just very weird and I'm just like, how is that being weird? And this is the main reason why I don't talk to people because of the, um, what would you call it? Because of the, what's the word? Prejudgment. And this one girl, she was known, she was very popular. And that would make me feel some type of way. Just because a person, especially a black girl is an introvert or shy, doesn't make her weird. It's just, she's not comfortable. I wasn't comfortable. I'm not comfortable with associating myself with you. I've seen how you act, you get into fights, you talk about people like, why would I be comfortable with talking with you? Another thing is I was, was called bougie by one of my family members, significant others. And one thing you should know about me is that my family really is very protective over me and because the way I am, I'm very sensitive. I don't talk a lot, like I don't bother anybody. They tend to baby me and they always cater to, to me, does Alexandria need something? Does Mumu, which is my nickname, does she need something? Does she need to be taken care of, blah, blah, blah. And it's not something I ask for, it's just something that my family does. And this one in particular significant other was like, why do y'all baby her? Why she's so bougie? And being bougie was 
I wasn't what he was used to. Like, um, I carry myself well. I'm very ladylike. I'm not loud and obnoxious. Only when I talk, I want to say something of importance. And I don't know you was pretty much how I was acting towards him. And I started crying. I went out to the car. I called my granny. And I didn't cry on the phone with my granny, but my granny told me this. So if you are a black girl that's an introvert and you sort of see yourself in me, she was just like, you know, some people ain't, ain't used to being around ladies. So when they get around somebody that's a lady, they get intimidated. So my granny made me feel good about that. She was not playing about her granddaughter crying. And another thing is, is I think people do expect black women to be loud and obnoxious and I feel like a lot of a majority majority of us aren't I feel like those portrayals of black women just get pushed into the media outlets more than what the good side is if you want to call it that I've always been a loner I remember in high school that I think I, I had one best friend and I did have a few other friends but it was like they were very extroverted they talked I've always been the quiet shy one in any group group setting and I remember one time my best friend wasn't there I literally cried because I didn't want I would eat lunch alone and I didn't want to eat lunch alone so I went into the bathroom <laughs> at my high school and just sat in there until the period was over it's a lot for me to talk and try to make friends with people especially when they don't understand that what being an introvert entails for me like the courage that it takes for me to go talk to someone the courage that it takes to me um to just even get in the car and go into social gatherings it is a lot. I remember I pushed myself to go to a social gathering. It was one of um, acquaintances I had really grown close with. And it was just a lot because it was like, oh, I need to make conversation with these people. They're having a conversation. Do I just jump in? I don't want to just be standing out over the corner. Do I, am I talking right? What am I doing? Like, what's next? And I said, okay, I need to cry. <laughs> so I went into the bathroom and cried my anxiety out or panic attack. That's probably what it was. And I came back. I was like, go. Oh, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> As a, as a shy girl, as an introvert, I am just very comfortable in my own energy, in my own space. And I hate that people try to make me an introvert, especially as a black woman, not seem normal, not seem okay. Like, this is weird. This is different. You need to speak out more. You need to be talking more. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that when that is not the case at all like i just love being in my own energy i remember explaining to my pastor we went and got lunch and she's like i want you to come to church more not to come just to serve on the serve team and i explained to her i said going to church i know people are gonna talk to me that's another thing people always i don't know if y'all have this if you have this problem or if it's a problem people always want to talk to me <laughs> but i don't want to talk <laughs> i just want to come and go Come, with, come get what I came for and go. And I was just explaining to her, I don't like small talk. I feel like I know when I come to church, people are gonna be talking to me. And it's not anything to do with them. It's just a lot on my mental to have to talk, figure out what to say. Now I gotta go in here, oh my gosh. Now when I come back, are they gonna wanna talk some more? Cause when I do go to church, I'm like the last, I wait till everybody goes in. And then I'll be the first one skedaddling out the door. It's not a bad thing to be an introvert, but I do feel like people don't welcome introverts when they are black women because they're so used to the ones that are extrovert, talking a lot, speaking their mind and all this other stuff. But I feel like an introvert does the same thing, but in their own way. I don't ever want you to think that being an introvert being shy is a bad thing. I've had so many people tell me that, you know, you can't be an introvert. You can't own a business if you're an introvert. You can't do this if you're an introvert. You have to talk more. You have to do this. But it's your world and make it work for you. Well, it's God's world. You're in it. Make it work for you the best that you can. I've been slowly getting out of that phase of... <sighs> 
my anxiety doesn't go through the roof. And I've done that by writing in the journal of why some situations and certain things cause me to get very anxious. I've been, I attended, started attending social networking events, small gatherings at times that worked for me and what I felt most comfortable and to learn um, what networking events I don't want to attend and what networking events I like. Tell me what you think. Could you relate to any of this stuff? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.